Hello, so what we're going to be doing today is fixing this little toothpick. It was given to me by a fantastic bloke called Mike's Man Cave. <laughs> You've probably seen his channel. Um, and what's happened to it is, he's lost a little motor wire. It's come disconnected from the actual motor. So it's got a little loose wire there. Yeah needs to be connected into that little bit down there but that isn't gonna happen what we're gonna be doing is rewinding all four of these motors to give him something special and they're currently 1103 11,000 kV he's running it on 2s so what we're gonna be doing is maybe putting a bit of thicker wire in there and then maybe turning the KV down just a little bit, give him a bit more thrust, a little bit more flight time to enjoy this little thing. Give it a little service as well, because there's a little um, bit damage to the top. This camera's like wobbling about, so we'll sort that out for him. And uh, see how it goes. Okay, so I've taken the quad apart. And it was in that little box for now. Taking off the motors. Um, three of them, well, two and a bit look okay. That one's had a repair done before, but just taking this one off with the broken wire and another wire's come off. Looks like he's tried to repair it before. There's a little bit of uh, repair work in there. But, yeah, there another wire come off, which isn't good. Isn't very reliable. And uh, oh no, I just broke it. Okay, so just having a look at these motors, um, unwinding process. It's uh, they're quite old motors, but it's quite interesting how these are wound actually. I don't know if uh, you can see, there's actually two wires um, coming out of the stator, um, so it goes around two pieces of wire quite thin let's see if we can get them out together there you go so we're just going to unwind all of these but yeah it's quite interesting you don't really see this anymore with um, two pieces of wire so what we're going to be doing is just using one thicker bit of wire so we're going to measure that this up and then see if we can sort of like get a little bit more copper inside there okay so this is the wire that came out of the motor originally and um, just measure one of them so separate that off with me trusty calipers right over there All right so it's probably like 0.015 that little bit of wire there and then let's just check the other one right. 0.16 so the options are 0 0.2 0 0.25 0 0.236 or 0 0.4 
another little update what I noticed with these motors um, when you pull the shaft you know, you lift up quite a lot <laughs> and that is a awful lot and what it is is that there should be a little spacer there or the barrier or the um, shafts actually been pushed down so what I've done I've uh, this is the one I've just wound is push the shaft back up so now if you pull it there's hardly any play and it spins really nicely so yeah when you pull that there's no there's a little bit you want a little bit of play so it moves but yeah you don't want <laughs> you don't want all this that is just excessive 